Welcome to Fort Popham, established in 1861. This was a Civil War era coastal defense fortification at the mouth of the Kennebec River in Phippsburg, Maine. It is located in sight of the short-lived Popham Colony and is named after George Popham, the colony's leader. Looking for the answers And you'll find What you've got the brick ceiling that's so cool I would say that was more for a small cannon Ooh, beautiful view gorgeous Some more of the brick roof. This one will use the bug because it's in the So I kind of want to open. Why is that one not open, right? 
too windy. How's that go? Is that downstairs? No. <laughs> no. Go ahead. Can you see all right? Yeah. Okay. Woo. Is there brick roof on the floor now? Yeah. Now we're up here. Yeah, you can't go in that half. On top, it's they've got it. Out of it, they've got caged off. That's an old sign. It is. Fort McClary, Fort Popham, Fort Edgecombe, Fort Knox, Fort George, Fort William. All of these interesting old forts are open to visitors. All have interpretive displays. That is an old sign. I like this guy. He's cute. Percival Baxter, P. Vet Baxter, Governor of Maine, who arranged for the purchase of this and other forts from the federal government. Fort Popham with 6.73 acres of land was valued at $6,600. Fort Baldwin with 45.3 acres of land was valued at $5,000. The transfer was made on September 20th, 1924. John W. Weeks was Secretary of War at the time. Wanna know how big these guns are? There's a window. There's the tracks. See the wheels are Oh, okay. Let's see if I can was. see if I can get that. Okay. So show the tracks, honey. If you look. Oh, I can see them on the camera too. Yeah, Good. You can see where the cement is worn down where the iron tracks used to be. You can see the bolt holes. Well, these were gun emplacements. See right here? Right here. Yeah. Right here, right along here. Right along here. You can see them really good, like right About there. About 20 feet from them. Right open. there. And then there's the window. So that's where the tracks of the gun were. Yeah, wow. And that's how they turned it. They could turn it. And they could turn it to angle it different ways. The back of the gun come all the way over. Swinging around. Woo! Over here. That's a big gun. I wouldn't want that pointed at me. I don't know what they were for Janice. I'd have to look it up. There's some more signs. Rick from Lala, Rick from Lala probably could. Probably could. The Lala Farm. You're challenged, Rick. 
Fort Popham was garrisoned during the Civil War, the Spanish-American War, and World War I. This was a precautionary measure. The fort was never attacked. Forts of the Kennebec River. Fort Popham. Oh, look with the roof on it and everything. Yep. There we go. Fort Western. Fort Halifax. My camera's crooked. Yeah, get a good look at that and then that map next to us, so. Okay, so there's that and then here's the map. Fort Halifax up there. Fort William. Western. Oh, I'm sorry, Fort Western. I'm trying to read it through the camera. My eyes are watering. Yeah. And it gives you a list of what they all are. All those numbers and dots and everything are all these guys here. I don't know as we've been to Fort Eight, Fort, Fort Ancient, Ancient Augusta. 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 Oh, yeah. oh. I don't believe it's there anymore. I think it's on the side of Fort Western. Fort at Coxhead. I don't know if we've been there. There's a few here I don't recognize. Well, some of them, they're not much there anymore other than a boat going and a plaque. Like there we go. So there's the there's the tracks that Scott was showing you on the ground that that travels on. Back and forth is the wheel. Look how many guys it took to run that thing. Finagle it around. So there's a better picture of Seven. it. Seven. Cannon here and six. Uh, uh, gunner and six cannon here. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, so this is showing the right. all the cool brick roofing, and then upstairs for the floor. Yeah, as you can. And those are just like oh, that's an walls. actual. That's, that's here. A, yeah, that's an actual cannon. Pic, a picture of the cannon. Cool cannon inside a casement in 1895. Wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's what those were for. Vents in the ceilings in order to disperse the smoke and noise. Oh, I would think that would need that to yeah. be there. <laughs> Guardian of the Kennebec, Fort Popham. Here's where we are. It's an aerial view. That was a while ago. Oh, I think I see Scott when he was a little boy right there. Yeah, I don't think so, by the looks of those vehicles. No? I don't feel it on the modern yet. 15-inch Rodman cannons. That says it's an 8-inch. That, well, that one is. Almost the, all the waterways. Yep. I like that. Yeah. Building Fort Papa. So here we are right here. We went up here at the very top, took a look around. It's the only one you can go up. And this is a parking area. Pretty wild, huh? Yeah. Very cool. I see the grass going up. You think? <laughs> well, the river runs that way too, so. Oh, okay. And there's a nice That's drawing, watercolor painting. Yeah. You can see real good when you get through. It's from 1864, yeah, it's it's 1865. Take this tower, you can go all the way to the top. Yeah. And it takes you to the second floor, but you can keep going and go all the way to the very top. Okay, thank you. You can see a lot better up there. Great. Especially really if you're impressive. <laughs> Thanks for coming on our trip to Fort Popham today in Phippsburg, Maine, down on the ocean. It was a beautiful day. I really enjoyed it. And this next clip you're going to see uh, in the middle of the screen, you'll see a, a little bit of a seal head popping up and down out of the water. Um, we had a good time watching them 
swim around and go fishing and they would come up to eat their fish. So we had a great day. Hope you enjoyed coming along. Like, share, and subscribe.